Thank you all very much for all of your hard work. Thank you. Maryland's top elected official taking advantage of early voting. Our state's term-limited governor, Larry Hogan, casting his ballot in person this afternoon at Annapolis Middle School. Well, I voted on day one of early voting just because I wanted to encourage everybody else to make sure that they consider coming out to vote. You know, regardless of who you're voting for or what uh, your party affiliation is, it's just critically important. A lot of people aren't even aware that the election is going on or that early voting started today. So, um, and uh, this was the closest early voting uh, place uh, to the state house, and uh, so that's how we decided. The foot traffic was light in the opening hours of early voting that we observed in Baltimore County, Baltimore City, and Anne Arundel as well. Voters appeared enthusiastic to cast their 2022 primary ballot in person. Now, I really like the sticker, yeah. <laughs> like it puts a stamp on it kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, like I like that we can go together, it's something we can do together, and uh, we're doing our civic duty. Some people said this was their first time voting in person since before the pandemic. Person. I love doing it in person because I'm here, I can feel the, the ballot, I can see the people, I can see how organized it is, and it um, just makes me happy to see it. Elections officials say when the primary calendar was pushed into July, they had to find a slew of new early voting sites. For example, all nine of Anne Arundel County's early voting locations are different from the ones used two years ago. And in Baltimore County, 11 early voting locations up and running now, and officials say six of them are different. We are fully staffed and ready for um, whatever turnout comes um, at all 11 of our early voting sites. So early voting, which began today, lasts for seven straight days. It runs through July 14th. Every early voting location across the state opens at 7 a.m. and closes at 8 p.m. Now, this does include, of course, Saturday and Sunday. And elections officials say the best time to cast a ballot, meaning when the crowds are the smallest, is on the weekend. Reporting live tonight from Annapolis, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL, TV 11 News.